My name's Hattie Miles and I was the photographer from the Daily Echo uh, on the day that Sea Music was unveiled and this is one of the pictures that I took on the day. This is Anthony Caro, this is Lord Palumbo, this is the Mayor and this is Tom Roberts. Um, I remember it being a very cold day so I think they're all wrapped up um, and it being really exciting to see this incredible sculpture for the first time, sitting on Paul Key, and it looked very large. Um, I think nowadays it looks smaller because we're used to seeing really big buildings and really big sculptures, but it was very large at the time. I visit Sea Music every so often. Um, if we have friends in the area staying with us, we often go and look at Sea Music and we climb up onto the platforms and look at, at Paul and take photographs with sea music in the background. Um, it's a sculpture I really like and um, I have always enjoyed the fact that I photographed it when it was newly there and I, it was a great honour to me to, to be the photographer chosen to do the job and it's still there all these years later, 25 years later. There are photographs of it taken at Bourne Steel who presumably produced all the steel and did some of the, the actual sculptural work on it. And they are incredible pictures of it being created. And there's also a picture that I took a couple of years before this of Anthony Caro holding the maquette of sea music, um, which I looked at and thought, I don't really understand what that's going to look like. But it all became apparent on the day. He looks a bit worried there, I think wondering what people are going to make of it. But it was, it was a good day. And you can see, I don't know whether you can see up here, that C music is a sort of reference to the ships that used to visit Paul Key um, with their one fantastic masts and things in days of old. So there's a bit of history there too.